10 Best Picks Presents the Top 10 Best Bass Lures Starting at number 10. Steel Shad, Bass Fishing. Steel Shad blade baits are 2 to 3 fourths inches long and weigh 3 eighths ounce. Color options include Tennessee Shad, Purple, Sexy Shad, White Shad, and Yellow Shad. These come with double stainless steel VMC treble hooks. Blade baits are awesome because they flutter on the way up and on the way down. This is a particularly good bait for smallmouth bass. It can sink deep and has a strong presence in the water with lots of flash and vibration. These work best in rocky areas because otherwise, they pick up weeds. This is not a lure I use often, but there are defiantly spots where blade baits have the advantage. It works particularly well in the Great Lakes on smallmouth bass and walleye in 20 to 40 feet of water. For more information and price, check out the product links in description underneath the video. At number 9. Fishing Vault Fully Rig. This Alabama umbrella rig has 5 arms and 8 blades. Swim bits are 3.5 inches long and are placed on 1 4th ounce jigs. The total weight of the rig is around 3 ounces. These shad are black and white, and the blades are silver. Umbrella rigs are baits that work so well they are banned in most major base tournaments. State fishing laws also need to be checked before using 5 hooks on one fishing rig. If 5 hooks are not allowed teaser baits without hooks can be used from some of the shad. When trolling large umbrella rigs for striped base, it is common to just use one hook on the trailing center bait. These rigs also work great at caching freshwater striped base and hybrid striped base. Casting umbrella rigs are typically done while using a 50-pound braided line on a 5-1 gear ratio baitcasting reel. Rods should be heavy or extra heavy stiffness. The main problem people have with these rigs is getting them tangled or hung up on the bottom. Be aware of the structure and debris in the water when throwing these rigs. Number 8 of my list. Zman Chatterbit. Z-Man Chatterbits come in size 3 8 ounce, a half ounce, and 3 4 ounce. Color options include black, blue, chartreuse white, clearwater shade, green pumpkin shade, white, and heights hot craw. The Hammer series is the highest quality handmade chatter baits used by professional anglers. The price is around $18 per bait. Gamakatsu heavy wire flipping hook is used with a double wire trailer keeper that helps prevent soft plastics from sliding on the hook. These can be fished like a crawfish jig, where it is lifted off the bottom and then allowed to flutter back to the bottom. The chatterbit can also be fished with a slow constant retrieve like a spinnerbit. A swimming senko bait tail can be added to create a larger profile and amazing swimming action to the bait. These chatterbits start vibrating quickly and swim with a side-to-side -side motion that creates vibrations that the bass can feel with their lateral line. Coming at number 7. Rebel Lures Pop R. The Rebel Popper comes in 2 a half inch which is 1 fourth ounce and 3 inch size which is a half ounce. Color options include Bone, Bubblegum, Foxy Mama, Foxy Shad, Rainbow, and Tenesse Shade. I like using topwater poppers best in low light situations. Most often I use them between sunset and dark. In the evening many nocturnal creatures like frogs, mice, salamanders, insects, and crayfish start to come out of their daytime hiding spots. Bass are used to this activity and like ambushing prey and feed aggressively at dusk. It takes a while for their eyes to adjust to the day, so it is important to work the bait slowly. At number 6. Yamamoto Senko Bait. Yamamoto Senko worms come in sizes 3 inch, 4 inch, 5 inch, 6 inch, and 7 inch. There are over 120 different color variations of the Senko. Two of the best and most popular are Green Pumpkin Red Flake and Black Blue Flake Blue Tip. Gary Yamamoto designed the Senko in the early 1990s and it has been one of the most popular bass fishing lures ever since. The Senko is a very versatile soft plastic that has helped countless anglers win base tournaments the bait is thicker than most real worms and does not really look like any baits in nature. For some reason, though it triggers bass to bite. It is not one of my favorite baits, mostly because it makes too loud of a splash. Properly using a baitcasting reel to slow the bait before it enters the water can avoid this though. 
I find it is best to use it in water that is more than 5 feet deep. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Halfway of my listed number 5, Rapala Fat Wrap 05. The Fat Wrap size 05 crankbit is a 2-inch lure with a deep diving lip. The three common colors for this lure are perch, silver, and firefighter. This is a floating lure that is made out of balsa wood. It is made with super sharp VMC black nickel hooks. Each lure is hand-tuned and tank testing to ensure they come ready to catch fish. This exact lure and perch is what my family calls Mr. Lucky. We had one lure that single-handedly caught multiple mutant-sized smallmouth bass in Lake Erie when I a kid. Those bass are still the biggest bass I have ever seen caught. To catch them, we would actually troll in 20 to 40 feet of overwater depth. The listed running depth of the lure is 3 to 5 feet. If you let out about 100 feet of line and troll this lure will dive much deeper than that, probably around 20 feet. This crankbit has been around a long time and likely inspired most of the others on the market. I like using lures that have a proven track record of catching fish. Coming in at number 4 of my list, Zoom Trick Worm Pack. Zoom Trick Worms are 6.75 inches long and come with 20 per pack. These worms come in over 50 different color variations. My favorite colors are watermelon red for bright sunny days and clear water. Junebug is a great color for murky rivers and low light conditions. My preferred way to fish a trick work is weightless, Texas rig, and very similar to a brush hog. A trick worm sinks a little faster than a brush hog, which can be good in 5 to 7 feet of water. Any water deeper than 7 feet is it good to add a bullet weight against the worm. A Carolina rig with a weighted peg 2 feet above the worm is another good option when fishing deeper water. The greatness of the green trick worm became apparent to me when fishing with my friend Ryan O. We were fishing a big pond, perfect for a spinner, so I thought. At number 3. Strike King Hack. The Strike King Hack Attack Heavy Cover Jig Bait comes in 0.375 ounce, 0.75 ounce, and 1 ounce sizes. Color options include Black Blue, Blue Craw, Candy Craw, Green Pumpkin Craw, Okeechobee Craw, Sexy Craw, Summer Craw, Texas Craw, and Falcon Lake Craw. Sexy Craw and Falcon Lake Craw are the colors I like best. The Gamakatsu Black Nickel Heavy Wire Hook is strong and good for pulling hard on big bass. This is a heavy cover swim jig so travels well horizontally in the water column and also cuts through heavy weeds. The common fishing technique for these jigs is to be drifting over grass beds and pitching the jig about 4 feet in front of the drift direction. It can take time to locate weed beds that are holding fish. Once the base holes with fish are found it is worth all the work. Generally, these jigs are used in water that is 6 to 12 feet deep with large patches of sod grass. Coming at number 2. Sheldon's Aglia. MEPS spinners come in sizes from number 00 through number 5. For base, the best sizes are number 3 which is 1 fourth ounce, number 4, which is 1 third ounce, and number 5, which is a half ounce. The most common blade colors are silver or gold, but actually come in over 20 color variations. The hooks are dressed with a natural squirrel tail. MEPS spinners are great bass fishing lures for people with low patience. When using spinners there is the constant action of casting and retrieving, allowing for large areas of water to be fished quickly. This lure is best for water under 8 feet deep. The slower the spinner is retrieved the more the lure will sink into the water. If there are toothy fish in the lake such as pickerel, pike, and muskie using this lure can be a problem because these fish love to bite spinners as well. When a toothy fish bites and there is not a steel leader the fishing line can easily be cut. A steel leader leader might cut down on the number of bass that bite. However, I have caught plenty of bass while using a steel leader. And number 1. Zoom Bait Baby Brush. Baby brush hogs are 4 inches in length and come with 12 per pack. Brush hogs are the same shape bait but are 6 inches in length and come with 8 per pack. Baby brush hogs come in over 40 different color patterns. My favorite colors are watermelon red, green pumpkin red, junebug red, and black emerald. I like the baby brush hogs the better than the larger brush hogs for most situations. Baby brush hogs are my favorite base lure to use. 
The key to fishing with brush hogs is to be quiet. Very quietly approach an area and then realize that it is all about the splash literally. This lure makes an awesome splashing noise and bass come in to investigate and find this lure slowly sinking in the water and simply cannot resist. Even when bass are being lethargic and not hitting other lures, fish often still bite the baby brush hog. Because baby brush hogs sink slowly they work best in water less than 6 feet deep. Cast it out and keep a very small amount of tension on the line, so you can feel when the big base engulfs the lure. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, share this video and hit the like button.